Hi, it's Pastor Amy with your midweek motivation. And at Central United Methodist Church, we're in the middle of a sermon series called Ready for a Change. And this last Sunday, we talked about the recognizing the difference between being in a routine and being in a rut. Well, the simple answer on how to do this is that routines help us continue to do things successfully. They help us to grow. Ruts don't. But sometimes people are willing to stay in a rut because it takes a lot of work and courage to get out of it. Well, I had a disruption to my routine about a month ago. I don't know that I was necessarily in a rut, but I guess I very well could have been. Some of you may know that shortly after we moved to Lawrence about a year ago, we found out that our 12-year-old dog, Yogi, had developed cancer. And so we had to make that hard decision that so many pet owners have to face. Well, afterwards, my husband and I got used to not having a dog. That meant that we could go wherever we wanted, whenever we wanted, for however long we wanted, without worrying about getting home to let a dog outside or to feed the dog. We could even go away for a couple of days. We would leave enough food and water and a clean litter box for our cats, and we knew that they would be okay for a couple of days. In fact, I was even telling people that we were not going to get another dog. Well, all that changed a few weeks ago when this little girl became part of our family. This oh, is Susie. She is a five-month-old Labrador Retriever mix puppy. And the last time, she doesn't want to cooperate, so we'll let her down and play some more. But the last time Todd and I had a puppy, our daughter was two, and our son wasn't even born. Well, she's 23 now, and he's 20, so it's been a long time since Todd and I have done the puppy thing. And boy, has our routine changed. Right now, we can only be gone for three to four hours max before we have to come home or we're going to have a puppy mess to clean up. Gone are the days of sleeping through the night because, well, puppies have small bladders. If I was in a rut, I'm definitely out of it now. And if I was in a routine, well, that routine has totally changed. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because that change has brought some really wonderful things like puppy kisses and laughter at all the crazy things that she does and the loyalty and the unconditional love that she gives to us. That's the thing about getting out of ruts. When we do, we can experience something even better. As you've been thinking about ruts over these last couple of days and any ruts that you might be in, my encouragement to you is don't wait to get out of it. God has wonderful blessings that he wants to give to you, many wonderful blessings. But we have to let go of what is in order to receive them. So here's to getting out of our ruts and into the wonderfully blessed lives that God has for us. And if it involves puppy kisses, well then, that's all the better. See you in worship.